In the video tutorial this week we'll be giving you guys a quick overview of Engine's new stretch goal donation module. The new module is 100% EULA compliant, supporting Minecraft and all other games and communities. From the module front end we can see the total amount donated as well as the total number of donators. Below this we can see the overall donation progress as well as any active or completed goals. On the goals themselves you can see its individual progress and if we give the goal a quick click we can see any information associated. Clicking the donate button will allow a user a chance to donate, as well as displaying to them all the predefined donation amounts. Stretch goals are really easy to set up, and they're a great way to fund server and website related projects. To get started setting up your goals, you'll want to edit the module and head over to its admin panel. Our first stop will be the Goal Manager tab. This is where we'll set up and design our goals. As you can see, I've already set up a few example goals for this video tutorial. To begin adding your own goals, you just need to hit the Add Goal button. To speed things up, I'm just going to hit Edit on one of my pre-created goals. On the next screen, you can start adding your goal details, including goal title, goal amount, goal summary, and the detail pop-up window. From here, you can also start designing your goals using our awesome pre-built-in design editor. You can design custom images and text for both goals reached and goals in progress. If we scroll down, the next section is the Goal Reached Action section. This is where we can specify whether to add or remove tags on goal completion. There's quite a few options to choose from, making our system really flexible. Below this, we have the Minecraft Server Command section. Just like DonationCraft, our new Stretch Goal module fully supports Minecraft Server Commands. If you're new to Minecraft Server Commands, click the little View Help button. OK, if we scroll back to the top, the next section we're going to take a look at will be the Settings section. From here you can specify your system type, whether that be a Minecraft module or a generic module. If you're not a Minecraft user or community, make sure to choose the generic option. From here we can set the main donation text, the currency type, the word for goal reached, as well as the predefined goal amounts as you saw at the start of the video. We also have a really handy option to display goal progress in percentage rather than amount. Next up, some convenient goal reset settings. From here you can schedule your goals to automatically reset or you can perform a manual reset. Scrolling down we can see some more user tag options. This time adding and removing tags for individual donations and goal resets. More Minecraft server commands and a bunch of payment gateways included at the bottom. The payment gateways included in the stretch goal module are identical to the donation craft module. For information on setting up these payment gateways, check the video description. The third tab we're going to visit will be the payments tab. From this section you can see detailed payment information on all users and donations. You can see the gateway type, the user ID, the amount, the status and the date. For further information on payments just click the details button to the right. This will bring up a new window providing more information on the individual payment including user purchase history, the tags issued as well as the commands issued. The last section we're going to visit will be the style editor section. This is where we'll customise and design our stretch goal module. From here you can toggle your module width between small, medium, large. And if we scroll down a little further we'll be greeted by a huge range of customization options. Customization options are available for the text and buttons, the progress bars, the stretch goal box, as well as a range of miscellaneous items. And that's it. We hope you've enjoyed this quick video overview of our new stretch goal donation module. For further information on setting up stretch goals, check out the Help Center article. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or submit a support form, all links included in the video description.